Hello everyone, now I'm going to show you how you can download a Python in your computer and then how you can install in your computer so that you can get started with the Python programming. So the first of all you have to visit here a Python website there. Alright, so you can say there Python download then you will be directed to python.org. Alright, just wait a second. Alright, so there python.org and uh, there I'm going to show you how you can download these Python for a Windows computer. So it will take a time, a little time to download it. Then finally you will be getting here an option download Python 3.8.5. So simply click on this one. It will download a Python file in your local computer. Alright, so it has started to download this and uh, yes, I want to save this file and it will be saved in a download folder. Alright, just wait a few seconds. There it is now saved in my download folder. You can see it here. So there a Python 3.8.5. So I think it is uh, finishing this download, we might need to wait for a while. Yes, so it's it's downloaded successfully. Let's go ahead and double click on this. Then it will run in your computer and uh, it will start installation of a Python 3 in your uh, computer. To install it, you need here a permission, administrator permission. And I want to install it and in meantime, you have to select this add python 3.82 path otherwise if you don't select this line then you will not be able to use python without setting this path so it's the best way to use this add python 3.82 path so select these together install launcher for all user and add python 3.82 path once you get this thereafter you can uh, simply click on here install now all right thereafter yes i want to make the changes and in meantime while it is installing let me show you path as well you can search here a path uh, you can get this path from here come to the system all right in meantime while it is installing you can see there Alright, so while it is installing, you can search here uh, environment path. It should, yes, there edit system environment path. And it's gonna just take a while. Yes, so you have there and there is environment variable. And in this environment variable, we should be having here a Python. Alright, once this installation will be done, then we will be having there user variable either. Otherwise, we can have here a system variable. That's when then it will be, uh, you know, used for all the users available this system. So that's the path there. Alright, and if you click on there edit. And uh, currently we don't have any path here. So these path will be added. This Python path will be added here. Alright. So we have to wait for a while to complete its uh, installation. All right. Perfect. All right. So installation is done here. And then they are asking about to allow here a maximum path to set our system. I can show you here. Uh, just wait a second here. All right. So there is a disable Python maximum. All right. The path. All right. Then uh, you can click on close it. All right. Thereafter, once you close it, then uh, we should see here that Python should be added. Let me see if it is not added here. All right, it, it seems here a Python is not added. So we have to test that with their Python is yes. So their Python is added. All right. So yes, this Python is added here. 
and this is quite long path and now we can check whether we can uh, you know use this python or not so for that we have to write here a python all right it says that it's not working let me see here uh, once again open it open here a new terminal all right so there is cmd all right something else is coming uh, there should be a command prompt all right so there you have got it here this one all right so there we got command prompt open it all right so new command prompt is opened here now you can type there a python and uh, once you type there python we see there python 3.8.5 is installed in our computer and we can simply use this python you can do like this one hello world all right so this python is working congratulations you have successfully installed python in your computer all right i'll see you next lesson